Hello and welcome to Carrot Town Garage. This is our video review of our 1996 Chevrolet Astrovan. She's a day van, so she's got the Explorer conversion, and I'll tell you more about that in a moment. But the Chevrolet Astrovan, like its sister, the GMC Safari, came out in 1985 and was Chevrolet's answer to the minivan market. Earlier in the 1980s, Dodge, the Dodge Caravan had been launched and had taken over the minivan market and a new era of cars had been invented. Chrysler then followed suit with the Chrysler Voyager. By 1985 Chevrolet realised they were missing out on a mass market and thus came up with the Chevrolet Astro van. The Astro was offered as a van and as a minivan. Um, and here we have an Explorer conversion van, which basically Explorer started up in the 1970s as an independent company, converting and modifying vans to basically customising them. Uh, this is back when you had your shag pile carpets and uh, uh, crushed velvet everywhere. Um, but as they developed into the 1980s, uh, they moved with the times and the trends and thus they fitted leather interiors, big comfortable seats, armed captain's chairs and also um, lots of wood um, and lots of electronics including televisions and videos etc. Uh, one of the features on this van is that the rear seat, um, the two captain's chairs swivel and the rear seat turns in, into a bed. Now the Astro van was fitted with a 4.3 litre V6 engine um, and was manufactured in the uh, first series through from 1985 to 1995. Then the second generation van, which had a slightly higher output engine at 165 horsepower, uh, was produced um, from 1995 to 2009. Here we have the second generation 1996 van. Now a lot of these vans in the UK have come from Japan uh, because they were shipped from America to Japan. There's a huge market for these vans in Japan and one of the advantages of the Japanese market is the fact that it's a temperate climate so the vans don't rust. Uh, this van here has been here since 2008, has been really well looked after and is in outstanding condition as you'll see as we go around the van. Anyway, I'll start off and we'll so show you the interior. We are inside the van and it's a very very nice place to be. Um, we've got great big captain's chairs, big padded leather seats. Um, you really do feel like you could travel a long way in this car. Um, there's a column shift automatic gearbox on these. Uh, they all had the same um, automatic gearbox. It was a three speed with overdrive. Um, column shift, as you can see up here. Um, one feature on this car, um, somebody's exchanged the airbag steering wheel for the sporty steering wheel here. Initially I thought, and I really don't like this, but actually when you drive the car the wheel suits the car, it really does. The driving position is just spot on. Um, we've got an aftermarket stereo in here. Um, one of the other things you'll notice is the wood. This was very much a, um, a feature of the uh, Explorer day vans, uh, or the day vans in general, the modified ones. Um, but like I said, you had full captain's chairs with armrests. There's even a, a cool box down here in the middle. Um, somebody's fitted an additional cup holder unit on, on here for your cup holders, and there's a little storage uh, box underneath. Um, but like I say, it's a very nice place to be. Um, very cozy because uh, one of the advantages of these vans they're not too big especially in the UK uh, where the roads are a little bit narrower um, some of the bigger day vans tend to be a bit of a handful but um, like I say these ones are really really do suit the roads very well and of course they're much better value than buying a, a Volkswagen and I think they're just, so just here as we cool. are in the back of the day van and it's a very nice place to be back here um, as you can see I've got swiveling captain's chairs and you have to admit I do look comfortable back here uh, inside we've got wood surround all above us with mood lighting and the rear seat is electrically operated and folds down and turns into a bed. Um, I always think you know when you slide the door open the lights should come on, the back of the uh, seat should turn into a bed, a bit of Barry White comes on on the stereo, you know. <laughs> It's a proper passion wagon, um, but yeah, these are just it's just kind of like I said It's really cool. The finish is really good The wood on this van has survived quite well because it was never the best quality wood that they used to put in these things And the lacquer did tend to peel but actually in here it survived remarkably well and The rear seat uh, is fully functioning. It folds down as it should do um, uh, and it slides backwards and forwards to give extra leg room for uh, rear passengers. Um, also, all of the windows come with window blinds. Um, so if you're getting changed at the beach or anything, even though you've got black tinted windows, you can pull the blinds down just for that little bit of um, extra privacy. Anyway, we'll have a look around the back of the van and uh, I'll show you the back doors and uh, the boot space, which, let's be honest, there isn't a lot. 
it's not a long wheel. Now, here van. we are at the back of the van. Um, now this has an interesting feature, this van. I've, we've, like I said, I've had quite a few Astro vans and they've always had this split door right down the middle, a bit like your typical van where you open both doors. However, this one uh, has an interesting uh, back end here because it's got the uh, hatchback. Um, don't quite know why because it's a long way to kind of lift things in. I suppose you could use it at the seaside for some extra air but I, I, I'm not really getting it. And then you've got your saloon doors at the back here which uh, open up like so. So at least you've got your space uh, in the back here. And then the rear seat here, um, this then moves forwards and backwards and of course you can fold it down into a bed look at that like i said a bit of barry white on there the old mood lighting got it all going on let's get it on um and then flick of a switch she all folds back up and back into a rear seat again it's a it's a nice little feature to have i have to be honest well i'm not so sure if you want to be sleeping in the back in the back of here um, but you have at least got that option if you wanted to um, got a little fuse box up on the side here, which uh, has all the fuses for all the aftermarket parts that were fitted by the Explorer company um, in there. Well, there you have it. That's our video review of our 1996 Chevrolet Astro van. Should you have any more questions, please give me a call. My name is Stuart, and please give us a thumbs up if you'll enjoyed this video. Any comments are greatly appreciated. Um, we're just launching Carrot Town Garage. It's a new business, and uh, hopefully soon we'll have some merchandise available for you. But please subscribe uh, to follow our channel, as we'll have lots more American cars coming up soon. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.